Hey guys, Yummy here again, and today I'm getting the mastery dog tag for the M249 LMG in Battlefield 4. This was suggested to me by just a guy on my last mastery dog tag video for the M4 carbine, and he gave me a plethora of guns to master, plethora being, of course, the word of the day. <laughs> And I chose to do the M249 out of it because it was in the range of the Mastery Dog Tag, which is 300 or 400 kills, which are the guns that I'd like to choose for these. And I just haven't done an LMG. I don't think I've done a single LMG for Mastery Dog Tag videos, so I decided to do this, and it was actually a lot of fun. Just remember, if there's a weapon that you guys would like me to do next, make sure you say it down in the comments below, and I'll definitely consider doing it. Check the description below for the weapons that I have yet to master. So let's start out with possibly the most apparent of all of the M249's aspects, the fire rate. Now it's tied with the MG4 for the fastest fire rate in the LMGs at 800 RPM. So this means that it really should be seen as much more of a close quarters weapon than the other LMGs because you're just going to be downing people a lot faster. But it just seems like it doesn't compete as well with the MG4 and that's why you don't see it as often. And to me, the MG4, which I've expressed in a previous video, is, uh, to me, overpowered. I just think that it has too many of the awesome aspects of practically every class of weapon in one gun. Since everybody loves it, it just avoids nerfing every single time. But there's just something about the M249 that makes it seem less good. But trust me, whenever I was using this with, an, uh, with a bipod, I found out this gun is absolutely hilarious to use. And by hilarious, I mean 31 and 1 on 9 inch strike without going into a vehicle. Hilarious. Literally, I was just going around and setting up the bipod and mowing people across the map with the M249. And it was uh, out, it just flat out awesome. Now, you guys may recall in my best loadout video that I did on Silk Road, I expressed how awesome the bipod is. But seriously, it's, it's probably even more awesome with the M249 because of its higher fire rate. Now, I was surprised looking at the M249 on Synthic.com and comparing it with the MG4 I just saw almost every single stat for the M249 and MG4 are exactly the same. The M249 just has a slightly different recoil pattern but I don't really understand why the M249 just seems like it's not as good whenever you're just running it conventionally which is like with a grip or something, just, just a standard grip and a red dot sight and running in offensively, why does the MG4 seem like it's so much better? And that's just something that's kind of eluding me right now, and I just can't figure out why. The M249 is still pretty awesome, and it and the MG4 have the lower damage model of the LMG, starting at 24 damage maximum, and then dropping off to 18 damage at range. Not surprisingly, really, the M249 has a really, really long reload speed. One of the longest reload speeds of the LMGs, actually. And, I mean, this isn't going to be much of a deterrence because it does have 200 rounds in a magazine, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, really, you're not going to be reloading that much unless you're just holding mouse button 1 and spraying for 10 seconds or... 15 seconds a at a time and I mean you if you put yourself in the right position you shouldn't have any trouble going through that reload you should find cover get out of the action for a second just to do that reload and it ends up not being that bad but you just got to remember it is an LMG when you're using it and that is the downside of using an LMG furthering the idea that I made earlier that this M249 in Battlefield 4 is more of a close quarters weapon that the f high fire rate really supports this idea is that the M249 in Battlefield 4 is a shortened version of the gun. It's kind of like a carbine variant of the M249 that we're used to like the one from Battlefield 3 which was the standard length. This is actually one that is a lot shorter, uh, more compact that soldiers are more likely to use in real life now, now that we're making more advances in weapon technology and it just seems like a lot of the other aspects of this gun make it a lot more suitable for close quarters. It has a higher recoil pattern. It's really good if you put a stubby grip and a heavy barrel on there, but of course that makes the recoil much more harsh, so it makes it harder to use at range. So it just, all these things add together and make it seem like it's much better at close range than anything else. But then, I mean, of course, this all gets thrown away if you grab out a bipod. But of course, with the bipod at extreme long range, it's still inefficient. Well, the M249 is very awesome. You can make the argument that it is one of the best 
LMGs, but LMGs is one of those categories where it's kind of up to personal preference because other people prefer the more powerful, slower fire rate LMGs like the M240 Bravo or the M60, and they think that those are a lot better. Uh, the M240B is actually my favorite LMG personally, and some people like the really fast firing LMGs like the MG4 and the M249. And then there's the, you know, the few crappy ones like the QBU and stuff, but just overall, you can make any kind of argument for any of the LMGs that it is better than the other ones, or at least most of them. And the M249 definitely fits in this category of having ups and downs enough to where you can make the argument, but you can also argue against it. Now, me personally, I had a lot of fun using the M249, just mowing people down. It's one of those traditional style LMGs, you know, like the MG4 from World War II, where it's just really high fire rate, and you could put a ton of bullets downrange in such a short amount of time and just with the bipod even adds to this effect you feel really you feel a lot like a badass if you set up in the right position to where guys are just coming straight in through the doorway like I was earlier on the Metro match and you can just mow them down one at a time it, it just makes you feel awesome like pretty much no other gun can LMGs are not particularly guns that I use very often and I tend to stick to the same three or four every time I tend to use LMGs just because I mean the other ones there there's just some LMGs that are so bad it's like purposefully putting yourself at a disadvantage by using them and that's why I just prefer to avoid them but the M249 is a lot of fun and I expect to use it more often in the future so there we go another dog tag down and many many more to go just remember if there is one that you would like me to do next make sure you put it down in the comments below and I'll definitely consider doing it. Please no pistols because I do not think that they make a very interesting video so I like to avoid doing mastery dog tags on them. Also I'm not very knowledgeable on pistols overall and pistols are pretty much just based on personal preference. So until next time if you guys like this make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and this is Mummy. Goodbye and good hunting.